Hey guys, I, uh, well, it's the 11th day of January 2024, and, uh, yeah, I've made a few videos that I haven't released and whatnot, because I, uh, I, feel, I feel like they take away from what my channel is becoming and whatnot, you know, uh, some rants there, and, and some shit that YouTube probably would give me a strike for, and I'm on, uh, I'm on a warning until January the 16th on this particular platform and shit, so, you know, I'm, I'm being choosy about what I choose to put out. You know, you know I have some, um, there's some shit going on. <laughs> anyway, I watched about a good 10 minutes of uh, the Jonathan Majors interview on Good Morning America with, uh, I forgot the woman's name, but they seem like they just come out of a cookie cutter. They're like Miss Sandra's clones, you know. So, you know, I'm going to say what everybody else is saying about him. Uh, going on an apology tour and, you know, being buck broke and all that shit, because it's quite apparent and shit that, you know, when you see him sitting there in front of this this Miss Sandra's woman and shit, it's quite apparent what's going on. And, uh, well, we know he, he told the line and shit, and, you know, he said what he thought about, you know, what happened to him and everything that he's appealing. And it just, you know, it burns my riches and shit, you know, lack of a better term, that you know, there's this excessive coverage of, uh, you know, him of being prosecuted and shit for running away from, you know, someone attacking his ass. Someone's chasing him multiple city blocks and he still manages to get, you know, his ass, you know, found guilty and shit. Okay. And that shows you the racism, the racism inherent in our, uh, in this supposed country and shit. Okay. Because I've been seeing this shit excessively. They haven't been covering a goddamn thing when Ezra Miller was doing, was choking out women and throwing them on the ground all over the place, you know. And he actually went on the lam with a, a, a non-binary, as I'm told, uh, a younger uh, life form, okay. Because you know how you can't misgender nobody and shit, but I know that he was in a car with a younger life form that identifies as something. But I, I haven't confirmed that and, you know, he did he did some criminal shit. Alec Baldwin killed a mother killed a female. He blasted a bitch. Uh the dude from that seventies show, Eric Masterson, raped two women and shit and got uh you know, he got found guilty as you don't see his ass you don't see them carpet bombing the shit out of you know. And a bunch of other people. And it's just been one parade of black of black adjacent motherfucker after another and shit. The Cosby playbook is in full effect and I'm disgusted and shit. All right, I'm disgusted. But I was watching this Jonathan Majors thing, and, you know, I'm listening to the, the, the questions that she's asking him and shit. It's like no fucking respect. And I was just disgusted. You know, I'm disgusted. I'm tired of this. And I just looked at this woman, and I was like, who the fuck are you? Okay, who are you? And, and they made sure to show black people all over the place. Well, you know it's a white hand up their ass and shit. Okay, when is Danny Masterson's? When is someone going to make a surviving Danny Master special? Okay, and I'm just tired of this shit. It's an election year. So typically speaking, that's like Black History Month for black people in this supposed country where all the racists come out and show their ass and do all this crazy shit. Whenever it's an election year, you got like uh, all the whole fucking year fucking with black people. There'll probably be some mass shootings of black people pretty soon. You know, just saying. You know, and there'll just be this parade of you know, craving beef black man that's just doing all this crazy shit to, you know, women of uh, various colors and shit, okay? And, and we got, you know, guys like Jonathan Majors willing to toe the line after being railroaded up his ass and shit. Somebody pointed out that he could have went on Shannon Sharp's uh, show, you know, follow Cat Williams on there. And, uh, you know, I thought that was a good idea if he didn't never want to work again and shit. But obviously he does. He's willing to do what is necessary to get back in their good graces and to wipe his, to wipe his ass, his face with their asses. Okay, you know, gonna eat the groceries, man. Of Holly Weird, All right? And I, I just, I ain't riding with that shit. I, I'm pissed off about that injustice that you could be prosecuted for assault by running away from a bitch for several blocks with a hole on your ass, and then they can find the same woman in your fucking home, drunk in the closet. You know, and then in front of you, tell her culture what to say. And now that shit is right up front. And then refuse to prosecute her for perjury. 
and and you know going on the lamb and flying out of the country and shit. Nigga, hey, don't worry, come back. We're gonna we're gonna uh, put this nigga on the tree. We're gonna hang him up on that tree. And all you, a lot of these content creators on this platform has just been running their mouth about Jonathan Majors doing the whole Cosby thing, and the motherfucker ran away. You want to see the footage, you know? And I'm not here to bargain or haggle with these racist people. Racist, okay? You're racist. Okay, I'm talking to a lot of you content creators with this incessant Jonathan Majors coverage. Like, he did some disservice because he was black and he was in a Marvel movie. But that one you really burnt out about, he was good in that movie. Everything around him sucked. Okay, because they had to apply still racial stereotypes to that. He had to be uh, somewhat asexual, which was impossible when the same year that he appeared in that shit, he was voted as the one of the sexiest men in the country, you know, and he had Creed out and some other shit he had done. And it didn't matter that he had did Lovecraft Country and, you know, did gay ass uh, shoots, you know, photo shoots. He just didn't care. He just was mad because he was black. He was in a Marvel movie and he had a, a skinny ass blonde girlfriend and shit. And, and a black man can't have any sense of self respect or pride or hubris and shit that other people have. And yeah, he said a bunch of shit. Like the shit that John Jonathan Major said to his girlfriend regarding the Coretta Scott King bullshit and everything. Is that even compared to what Mel Gibson said to his girlfriend when he told his racist ass? And I haven't watched any of his movies since I heard that audio. When his racist ass told his girlfriend that she he wanted her to get raped, you know, R worded by a pack of, of N words. He said that. Go look that footage up. Go look up that audio. It's all over the place. And, and and other people doing weird shit. And people trying to get black people to talk about the war in the Middle East and shit. And I'm just like, it's none of our business. Just like your fucking Star Wars and your, your, your comic book movies and shit, that ain't none of our business either. We don't run no studios and shit. Everybody you see on it is black and shit. Like all this black women that look the same with the same kind of fucking wig on that big bushy hair thing, you know. That, that that seems to be the going acceptable wig for the minority majority and shit. You know, all you biscuit eating, you know, be eaters who want to uh, kiss some ass over there in Hollywood. That that's how you got to come and shit. Unless you're a big fat mammy or some chick that's deflated looking, you know, or or a professional sob or a, a snot blower like Tariji P Henson. You know, fuck, it's a rant, out there. It's a rant, all right? And I was irritated when I saw this. Uh, tragic mulata, Miss Sandra's, you know, somebody, at first I was like, is that Malik Andrews? They should just get Malik Andrews. Why'd they get this chick? Just get somebody who knows what they're doing, you know, really know how to, you know, stick it to a black man, you know, really, you know, keep pushing the buttons and try to, everyone is trying, ever since R. Kelly stupidly went and sat in front of Gail King and shit, everybody's been trying to have that R. Kelly moment with, like, these, like, uh, jacked up, you know, black men that, that like, kind of suspect and shit, you know, willing to do anything, bend over backwards and kiss their own fucking ass, bend over backwards and eat their own fucking groceries and shit. Everybody wants that R. Kelly moment where the big giant black dude gets out of his chair screaming and shit and raging because he can't do what he wants to do because there's a camera there and shit. And that's what I saw when I saw this female sit up there with that big ass forehead that looked like a Gerber baby and shit. And they made sure to show a brother with the clapper and shit. I don't think I saw that before. Why don't they edit this stuff out? They don't do this kind of shit. It's telling, man. It's giving. It's giving crisis actor on both sides of the room. The motherfucker that's talking to him and, and the guy that's talking, you know, Jonathan Majors, who's currently being whipped and shit. He's more than willing to say his name is Toby White America and Holly Weird. He's more than doing that. And all y'all can kiss my ass because y'all racist. Okay, you're racist. He's ready to do it, man. He'll even sleep with that one gay man that started the ball rolling. And, and how I got, like, really shadow banned since, like, last month. Since, like, probably October last or uh, September of last, uh, 2023. I've been sh super shadow banned. Triple, double uh, secret probation and shit, you know. All right. Jonathan Majors is ready for his close-up and shit on, on that fucking hanging up there on, on that post and shit. And he ready to scream his name Toby and shit. Okay, for all you racist content creators and 
you the racist minority majority mainstream media shit. Okay, just let him scream his name. Just let him tell you his name is Toby so he can get the fuck down, okay? We're tired of looking at the body up there. We know that you have a long line of other Negroes or Negro adjacents ready to get up on that pole and start screaming whatever name you tell them the name is and shit. Okay, he's going to do all the shit, okay? He'll even kiss his bum-ass, no, no business having skanky-ass white girlfriends, bony ass and shit, and say he was sorry he wanted his phone back that she took from him, his own personal property that she took from him with a sense of entitlement that came from where? Other than her, her lack of melanin and shit, the mayonnaise complexion that allowed her to feel that she had so much agency and ownership of him that she would chase him for several blocks and then go have a kegger with, with, with using his credit card and, and talking about him to drum up some Sympathy from his fucking fans. All right? King no more. King never more. And shit. I'm not watching Coleman Domingo or uh, any of these damson whatever the fucker's name. I'm not watching any of the bootlicking, uh, sexually suspect Negroes. They're going to shove in that, like, the marble plastic costume suit with the zipper down the back because all the shit looks the same. Okay? Yeah, mostly, I'm emotionally bankrupt with when it comes to this shit in 2024. And I see the cap. I'm calling cap on all of the bullshit. Okay? I'm calling cap on it. All right? I've had it with this bullshit. Okay? And I ain't falling for it. And just to let you motherfuckers know, I ain't voting. Okay? I ain't voting for the next president because there ain't nobody to run this country. They can't run their comp country competently. All right? There's nothing. What are you voting for? Look at this Orwellian shit show. You call a society of shit. Everybody got their head shoved up their ass of their phone, and a black community is dead and shit. And, okay, it's fucking dead and shit, thematically and, you know, spiritually and everything and shit. And there's little people grasping the straws when they, they're, they're picking up, like, burning incense fibers and shit. All right? This is a rant. All right? They want it to be a rant and shit. I'm just going to comment on the Jonathan Majors bullshit. But, you know, I'm a little pissy with him for going on this show. Okay? I'm a little pissy, man. All right? It's always avenues to make money and everything. You make it open to OnlyFans, Mr. Majors, and, you know, jerk off or something on that bitch, okay? But there's always ways to make money. There's, there's limits and shit. You have to have some pride. I can't think of you as a man. I think of you as a male. But you still get my support because of the racial injustice, okay? All right? And it had, n him being black had nothing to do with anybody's Marvel movie being fucked up, okay? Y'all people need to get the fuck off of that shit with, with the, oh, the king no more, and, you know, Damson, you know, how you gonna feel about the next black man they're gonna show up the ass of that rubber suit, okay? He didn't write no shows, he didn't green light nothing or anything, you didn't see, go back there, look in the writer's room, you see all white people back there, maybe an Asian or two, okay, maybe, maybe some Spanish person that wanna be white and shit, okay? You ain't gonna see some run-of-the-mill everyday black person sitting in there green lighting shit, so y'all need to have some tin seats and shit with this incessant Jonathan Majors coverage, okay? I fucking had it. It's 2024, goddammit. What is the what is this year going to be about other than everything falling apart? All right? And as far as, as far as Good Morning America in this interview and, you know, the whole R. Kelly setup, everything looks like everybody wants an R. Kelly moment and shit. It's the same setup and lighting. I'm surprised they didn't make Jonathan Majors put on the same clothes that fucking R. Kelly was, was wearing the shit. And they would love to railroad his ass in there. Maybe he could be a bunk mates with R. Kelly and shit in that bitch. Okay, he could go for running away. From, I want to know what kind of sentence he's going to get for running away from his abuser. Okay, it's abuse. Running the fuck away. Male or man, black, white, anything. All right? If you, you got something to say about that, you a fucking racist. And don't worry. Jonathan Majors won't tell you you're a racist. He wants to kiss your ass. He want all of you to line up so he can kiss your ass and get a pat on the head and get a, a creamy middle butter biscuit. 